Well, turning to Lebanon now, and the coronavirus pandemic is compounding long-standing economic problems. The Lebanese pound has lost half its value in recent weeks, sending already high prices soaring and bringing new hardship to a country that's been grappling with months of financial turmoil. The lockdown measures have been extended now until May 10, but protesters are ignoring the restrictions, taking to the streets to vent their anger. Scenes of popular anger have returned to the streets of Beirut. Despite an ongoing lockdown and a curfew, protesters have gathered outside the Lebanese Central Bank to demonstrate against the worsening economic conditions. We think that coronavirus is not the only pandemic we're suffering from here in Lebanon. So Lebanese people, they either have a choice to die from hunger or to die from corona with the increase of, uh, of the prices and, uh, the value of, and the decrease of the value of our currency. People here tell us they have nothing to lose. Lebanon, one of the most indebted countries in the world, is not only battling the pandemic, but also its worst economic and financial crisis in decades. The protests erupted last October, initially targeting decades of economic mismanagement and corruption. Now, with the lockdown further weighing on the economy, many are simply trying to survive. So people are witnessing hyperinflation, they're witnessing more and more businesses closing, more and more unemployment skyrocketing. Uh, basically, Lebanon has to start uh, as a today to be proactive, to start with the reforms, to start with a gradual break plan of devaluation and eventually restructuring the public sector, the banking sector and the central bank. In an attempt to dampen the financial fallout of the crisis, the government has restricted cash withdrawals and banned money transfers abroad. Prime Minister Hassan Diab has blamed the governor of the central bank for the currency's sharp decline and announced that a neutral international company has been tasked with auditing the bank's books. We will not allow or tolerate interference with financial stability because these people want the country to collapse and to shake its stability to protect themselves and their interests at the expense of the interest of Lebanon and the Lebanese. But for these protesters, promises like that aren't enough. The aid organization Human Rights Watch has warned that without government assistance, millions in Lebanon could go hungry due to the lockdown.